it's going to go to Frank Gore Jr. Oh. And he's got some running room. Frank Gore Jr. busts out the left side, and they're not going to get him. Frank Gore Jr. has our first touchdown of the ball game, and first in two years, in fact. Look, look, this is exactly what we've been on to talk about. They talked about his footwork mimicking his dad. He was here on the inside zone. Immediately gets to the cutback downhill, gets into the secondary, and then Frank Gore Jr. finishes just like his dad puts the ball in the paint. Josh Cephas doing a nice job downfield blocking from his wide receiver spot, helping clear a touchdown versus Daniel Jeremiah's Appalachian State Mountaineers this year. So used to the big play is Frank Gordon. Keep it on the ground, but Tyrone oh, man, Tracy yeah. again has some room off the right side, and he's going to get 64 receptions. Here's Plummer again on third down. He gets a pressure in his face. He's going to go down, and it's Solomon Bird from USC with a sack, but we do have a... Plummer's new running back in the game, and it's Jacob Cabote who showcases his advantage of his opportunities here at the Shrine. A little play action this time from Plummer. And he's going to end up checking it down to Cabote. Nice one miss. But he's brought down by at Oklahoma. And so another first down. And another handoff. This time it is Cabote again. And Cabote has a nice patient division there by midfield. Third and ten for Plummer. Plummer's got complete to Dallin Holker. And he's got himself a first. Nice perspective on the game. Plummer, pretty good pocket. Going to go to the left side for Holker. Who's going to make a tough catch. Catch of the night for the productive Holker. And here comes Plummer. Going to try to hit the slants. Nice. Out there to Tasia. Plummer in the gun again. Oh, he's going to rush in his face immediately. And this time he's going to go down in this sack from Grayson Murphy. 21 sacks. And up a little distance between himself and brother Gabe. And another sack. For this West defense as the East continues to move. And the moment lined up here for a 46-yard field goal. And it's good. So Mevis. First brother to us, starring a quarterback for the Dolphins. And Leah oh. taking a deep shot, and he's got it complete. And he's got it complete to Jaden Yonke from South Dakota State, who got behind the defense and gave him the And he'll take the snap here on first down for the 20th. Hand it off to Jabari. Loose and slow, spinning. We got a first to goal now from the two. Another play action. Leo with a finger in his face, gonna make a miss as he's done so many times in his career and taken himself for another. back for this. Into the quick little play action from Leo. He's on the move once again. Back in the end zone, wide open. Josh Cephas from UTSA for two. Man, uh, to get into coaching some. Devin Leary into the game at quarterback here from Kentucky and has that complete out to the tight end from Ilts to some of the things, some of the problems that have been presented to you in the pocket as Frank Gore Jr. breaks off another one. Big time hole opened up at the highest level as Delia now has his team in plus territory and again going to showcase that mobility. Coach, he feels so slippery. We always kind of pretend to be the, the smartest and have the perfect play every time, but when your quarterback can do this and buy you time and make that play right there, that's, I mean, what else are you looking for, right? When, when you can do things like that. And Little, well within his range and a powerful leg. Coach, thank you so much for being with thank us. Thank you. NC State Buck last uh, year at Kentucky. Oh, rifle out to Isaiah Williams. Productive versus Kovailoa on this third attack. He able to get this one off. He does connect with Watson, who makes... East that gives miss. And... All right, first set of downs. Clock is rolling. 12 seconds. Talia Tonga by low. Complete to Taj Washington. Breaks the tackle. Going to get close to a first down again. But the quarterback for the West squad. And will take to the air. First and set up a little throwback screen to Blake Watson. West Walker's out in front. And plenty of green before he is eventually brought down by Jackson Mitchell. Mike Kafka. Let's say right now he's acing the scorecard as the handoff. Once again goes to Blake Watson who shows you that first through the hole and eventually brought down after another big game and with the way he's got this offense rolling and speaking of rolling there goes oh, Bryce man. Plumley who's on the money to Josh Cephas and we got chunk play after chunk play to start this caught two passes in a 2019 game for his UTSA Roadrunners against Army in a game we had here on NFL Network from San Antonio and a flag flying as Plumley showcases his Ooh. athleticism oh boy a big time stop by Richard Juvenile by the time you get the third down 
Plumley. Gonna find Watson out of the backfield, but Aaron Casey, a tackle for loss, freshman year in this, and a 100 yard receiving game. He had to get Liberty while also playing for the rest. And another flag flies as Blake Watson, first and goal. It's Plumley can keep it, and Plumley easily into the end zone for another West touchdown. And you get him right with the right X's Ooh. and old coach, mm -hmm. he can be just like his dad to impact the team very quickly. Oh, we're seeing some excellent OTA mini camp to go ahead and learn the new technique that you're gonna have to learn. Oh. From the gun. JRP getting a little pressure, pocket collapsing as the flag comes out and he gets wrestled to the ground by yeah. drive stall here for the West. Yeah, really good job. This guy's working, you see. Muhammad Kamara, the, the pocket eventually collapsing. Great job. Get our first chance to see Ryan Rico, a punter from BYU. And he booms one, tickling the rafters here at the four center of the star. Caught by the job. That's matching. Anthony Cole. That's matching. one missed. Oh. Anthony Gould makes Rico. Nobody's going to catch Anthony Gould from Oregon nice. State. Maybe the start the East team. No flyers. Really needed. Good job. He's not getting a fresh quarterback in for the two-point conversion. It's Austin Reed from Western Kentucky going in. So oh. he's got it complete. Here we go. Stoops. Stoops. <laughs> you the crowd erupt. <laughs> that message to his guys in the locker room to Jane Slater. Uh, oh. And it looks oh. like the East Team defense there we go. has come up with the stop. And we could be in the tracks. Love it, man. Just one-on-one -on -one tackling. Makes the play. Good job throwing him out the club. That's a quick loss to Reed. And a pitch out. Jacob Cavoni makes one miss. And he how to attack those open windows. And here he is. So a little jump throw as he has that connecting with court skills here in the fourth quarter. We'll play action from Slovis. Gets out of trouble. He's going to try to take this himself and pick up some good yardage for getting out of Whoa. bounds to the birth of his first child. And see if he can make a play here to his home. And he came up with uh, guys. As with, and here's Keaton Slovis. Oh, oh, terrific connection. Does he hang on to it? I think he does. That's Zach Garrett. Running backs in all of college football the last couple of seasons playing at Monmouth. Not that pass is the East team. Really, he's on defense. The Yankees on offense. And here comes Austin Reed. Oh, oh and look at the pick. The pick made by Jarius Monroe made an interception just like Gortiz. Hold for Ryan Rico. Kick is up and good. And Cam Little has his second field goal. Up. Done. Third down. He's going to get some pressure and going to go down. And it's go. Grayson Murphy. All three South Dakota State Jackrabbit targets in the game at the same time. Oh, as Blake Watson makes one miss. Makes the oh. Makes the last line of defense what? over there on that west sideline as John Rice Plumley takes what is likely to be the final knee. And the finishing touches on a fantastic game for the West team. Head coach Mike Kafka, who then gives a handshake to Blake Watson. His quarterback, John Rice Plumley. Nice hug between the two head coaches here, Kafka and Hightower, who both did a phenomenal job yes. you know, this week with their command, their inspiration to these teams, and their ability to connect with the players. Yeah, I really like what both guys did. I, I think Hightower did a great job.